All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game number two underway here for the IEM Katowice main event. This is the round of 32. And to explain a little bit before we get into the intros, people are asking, like, what's going on with the matches? I guess some are a little confused. And to clarify just so slightly, ESL and us are covering different matches to ensure that 100% of the games in the round of 32 do get covered. So uh, we're taking the matches they aren't casting. They're all being played simultaneously, so nobody is really getting ahead of the other. And that way you get to cast or see all the games possible, even if it has to be through VODs later on. But... I thank you for those of us that are joining us live here today, this morning. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. for me, so we've been at this for about three and a half hours now. And uh, we get into the bottom right side with Team Liquid's Mana. In the top left, Dow's the Blue Protoss. He's Peely Peely. I cannot fault Peely Peely for the way that game went. Truth be told, hmm. what Mana did was weird and frankly outrageous it's something we have seen before but that pylon attack typically that comes in the natural base that comes to breaking down the front lines of a wall you never see anybody dive through to the probe line and put four pylons behind the mineral line like that was really yeah. cool but it was of course the uh the oracles that locked that game down right i would wonder what would have happened if he had just let the pylons run their course because eventually the militia core does run out of energy unlike what it used to when you know, get 25 a pop and maybe his nexus would have taken a lot of damage i don't think it, it would have gone down oh like, like um, walk, just walk away from the situation yeah just just walk away from with the probes with the adepts i mean he had his pylon up so it took down one of them but after getting as much damage done on the pylons as possible just running away um because even if he had run away let's say that he actually just stood there <laughs> and let all the damage come down, that probably still would have gone better because it was the additional, like, just panic that Peely Peely had to feel uh, if he was going to stay or if he was going to go that led into the Oracle ultimately getting those, uh, right. you know, a lot of kills and you know, not dealing with the Stalker and the militia, of course, as neatly as Peely Peely could. It was just a whole mess of things. That That's what Mana has been doing in his PvP, is making a mess out of things. Just making a mess. His mother would disapprove. Well, so you had mentioned this too. Mana, like, we, we referenced the ways he's been losing recently and he's been doing it because he's been getting really aggressive. Uh, this game actually doesn't take the aggressive stance. In fact, with all the stalkers coming out, he's looking to specifically defend. I'm wondering if yeah. she has a check division. Did he see the starport opening? Or I guess the double gases were just clue enough for him yeah. to uh, know this would be the case. So, spreads the stalkers out. He's looking around the map. <laughs> I mean, he'll pick off his probe so hey. the pylon won't be a problem to deal with. Peely Peely doing you know, just the opposite of what he did last game with that Nexus first. Just uh, very aggressive now, setting something up. Now it's Mana's uh, turn to just try and defend something here. Ooh, that's and it actually... was going to be a four gate. Not anymore. Do they get that last shot off before it disappears? No. Okay, so a little annoying, but the Mother's Report can deal. Uh, really important, though, he almost put the gateway down in plain sight. That would have been a very clear indication of what his intentions were. He decides to take the probe back a little <laughs> bit and build it again. But keep in mind, for Peely Peely, who wants to one base this, who wants to kill Mana and not take this to a macro game, mm -hmm. he has to get the gateway down for this. Because the pylon without a gateway is a very slow warping in reinforcement point. The problem yeah. is, the fact that he's had to delay this once and does it again, means that this is really taking away from the timing at which his one base attack is going to have strength. Mana is going to have pylons, he's going to have stalkers, and he's going to have a defense set up at home. He should have already been ready to go. Um, that fourth gateway isn't just, you know, uh, accelerated reinforcement. It's also actually part of his fourth gate all in, you know, who'd have thunk it. So uh, not to have it only halfway done. First warp one is slow. Second warp one's going to be slow. Uh, yeah, this is extending Mana's chance to actually just do okay against this. And yeah, he already gets way done with the Oracle. And with the, with the Immortals coming out, that's just going to really lock it down. Uh, no, not using Guardian Shield here. He actually ends up using Force Fields to try and trap the Stalkers in so they eat a couple of extra overcharged shots. It's kind of cool to see. Nice. Meanwhile, though, he does leave this a little exposed in the Natural Mineral Line, and that's not one Oracle, that's two. Stalkers aren't going to deal with this too quickly, but pulling the probes away, Mana will quickly run away from yeah. that. He doesn't ever want to sack the Oracles because there's a chance Mana will overdedicate to the fronts, but it's just not happening. Is Gameheart not on again? I, I guess so. I actually forgot to look when we got in here. I just I, I haven't seen the, the kill count on that, but anyways, uh, the uh, the overcharge goes off, but the pilot goes down so quickly. Mana, he has slash had the units to fight this, but not all together. And now that he's bled out so many, this is gonna be a very difficult fight to take. 
Now the Immortal comes out and pops this barrier immediately, immediately. Does a lot of damage, but goes down. And Mana, without a Mothership Core to fall back on, could be a little bit dangerous. Oh my god, the Immortal got an extra shot off. That's actually huge. That's actually huge. Yeah, it was close. You can pull probes to deal with this if he wants to. Probes actually do fantastic against Stalkers. Uh, continue with the warping, though, across the map. There's not another Immortal building, and Mana's out of money, so this looks like it is going to be Peely Peely's game. Very close to not being Peely Peely's game, though, I must Gee. say. Yeah, that was close. <clears throat> the